Today we're demoing how to use the Roll20 web page for ROC Online coming right up. Hello and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, anyone are not only perplexed up your hero clicks IQ, but out with the competition, make sure to Hulk smash that subscribe button and also the little bell notification so that you're sure to not miss it. So to start off, you need to go to the ROC webpage, which is uh, ROCCup.com. Uh, links for everywhere that we're going to be going are in the description. So you're going to click on uh, ROC Online for your D20. Uh, you have the rules down here. You're going to end up needing to create a uh, Roll20 account and a Discord uh, account. We're going to do the uh, Discord in a separate video, but right now we're just uh, going to focus on this. So uh, we're going to click uh, Create Roll20 Account. <laughs> And it's just right there. It's, uh, you know, fill in your name, email address, easy as that. It's free. Uh, so as you can see, I already created one for myself. Uh, so we're going to click on home. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new game. <clears throat> so the first thing you want to do is uh, name your game. Uh, typically, you would do this with... Uh, whatever your opponent's name would be um, but uh, since I don't really have an opponent it's just for demo we're gonna do uh, clicks test 2 uh, and then uh, we're gonna do uh, I'm ready create game uh, then you can uh, choose a file to put on here uh, I'm just gonna add this uh, shirt design for my spread shirt store just for something to put there for demo purpose so there's that then you click uh, launch game and uh, it takes a couple seconds to load but it's pretty quick uh, so the uh, first thing you want to do is you want to get rid of these grids uh, click this page toolbar you're gonna click start <clears throat> then you're going to uh, click this little gear and you're going to uh, disable the grid because what happens is when you uh, load pictures on it like snaps them to the grid size and you don't want that and also I want to take this time to uh, thank two clicks from KO they did a video uh, before I put this one out I, I wanted to put one of these out but they beat me to the punch uh, so special thanks to them for that uh, so go ahead and check their video out and you know maybe if you have two different people explain it to you uh, it'll stick better so uh, over here it's got like a couple quick start things so you know if you wanted to roll a die uh, roll 2d6 as you do uh, slash uh, roll and then uh, 2d6 and then press enter and it's uh, I rolled two twos which gave me a four that seems pretty tick typical to me let's see here if we do one so it'd be a slash roll 1d6 roll to six so made my super senses roll um so there's that right there and it keeps track for both players so what you want to do is uh first things first is how to set up the map because that's you know we're not going to be able to play without a map so there's this uh, nifty website and like i said everywhere that we're going to go um has uh, the link will be in the description so the first thing we're gonna look at here is uh, what map we want so we're just gonna take uh, uh, sewers from uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles so it's right here uh, all you do is you uh, right click on it save image as I've just been uh, naming them after the uh, the uh, map name so turtles sewers and you're gonna save uh, and I made a uh, made a folder for all these on my desktop it's it says uh, ROC online so that is uh, where I'm saving all these images you might want to go ahead and do something similar so what you're gonna do is uh, once you have your image that you want you're gonna come over here to art library you're going to click my library and you're going to click upload and from here you can upload multiple images so first things first is we're going to do our map 
and we just did the turtle sewers <laughs> so we're going to open that and you can do multiples at, at one time if you wanted to here as you can see over here i've been playing around with this for a minute uh so we have this then you drag it over and click on it and expand and we're gonna expand it try to make it as big as we can um, if you if these white parts are bothering you uh, you can take it into uh, into paint or whatever editing software you like and uh, deal with it there and then uh, this little slidey bar helps you zoom in and out too to uh, get rid of those they don't personally bother me so I'm not gonna worry about it so there we have our map uh, next thing you need are uh, figures to put on here so the best thing to do what they suggested on uh, two clicks from KO um, and it's what I would suggest is you go to the uh, HC realms unit section you pick a figure oh I don't know who who do we want here guys we'll take uh, We'll take a uh, GCPD officer. So what you do is you just uh, left click on it so that you get this larger image. Save image as. Um, and here it gives you the set uh, abbreviation plus the number. Um, PD. Uh, officer. And save. <clears throat> so then what you do is you go back to roll 20. You upload, and again, you could have had all these done at uh, one time. I'm just, you know, trying to show you guys. Uh, so it loads, then you see it populates over here. Mix this out. So then you can uh, drag it over, and then you're left with uh, resizing it. You want to make sure that it's about the same size as the squares. Then what you're going to do, you notice, like you can't really see what this is. Um, obviously, you could, you know, zoom up and get a better idea, but uh, whoop. but uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on it we're gonna click this little gear icon and what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to uh, name everything so uh, GCPD officer and you're gonna click on show nameplate <clears throat> and then over here um, I like the green one just because for some reason green means health to me uh, is where you're gonna put your um, click number so click number one uh, save changes so then what you're gonna do at that point is you can click on your officer Whoop. Uh, you can click on your officer drag her wherever it is she belongs just as such and then uh, let's say uh, you know she takes damage come in here to Uh, so you're here you got to go back in put it on two and also something I forgot is you got to do this controlled by uh, you can either control by yourself or all players uh, I would suggest just all players for right now just for something to do so keep track of your click number uh, and then you know as, as long as you and your opponents hash it out maybe since they're separated you might want to do click number in red action tokens in blue and then you know, especially tokens on this green just to help out uh, so then what you're going to do is uh, drag in any other figures you have. So we got Beta Ray Bill here. We'll resize him. Put him on a map. He's still way too big. Okay, being a hoss. We're going to say somehow there's a, another Stormbreaker just for an object on here. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do for light and heavy objects. I tried to find them on uh, HC Realms. They didn't have any, so not quite sure where we're going to get those and I didn't figure out how to make just generic tokens on here yet so we'll just put that over here and then there you go that's what you do uh, and that is how you get all your stuff on the map now something that goes on uh, and then you just you know whenever you want to go back to the game uh, you click on this chat button and that's it so let's say you know you're doing something and uh, you know you're in it, it goes down your computer crashes or whatever and you want to come back um, easiest thing to do 
here we'll just we don't need this anymore anyway uh, roll 20 uh, dot net is uh, then as soon as you uh, go to the page you have uh, all your previous games so then you can just uh, click on it you know launch game and it'll take you right back to where you were uh, with everything how it was so pretty cool little program here I I'm liking what I'm seeing here I I think we're gonna do good with this guys so if anybody has any questions, uh, make sure to post in the comments below. Uh, another little tip is uh, for you uh, graphics people out there, if you want to make the figures a uh, PNG, uh, a dot PNG, uh, that'll make it so that you see how Beta Ray Bill here overlaps some of the squares. It'll make it so that that doesn't happen and you just have the figure. So something to consider there. But uh, other than that, guys, that's all I have for you today. As always, please remember that it's only critical miss if you don't have probability control.